Hey, what's up, guys? We're here for the live reaction of Bleach 657, God of Thunder 2. I'm really glad that these chapters came out before the end of this year, basically, because there was some rumor that it wasn't, so I'm glad that we're here. Let's do this. God of Thunder 2, so we're here with the Yorichi battle with Asken Yorichi. She, I think her Shunko is dissolving right now. Asken actually got out of that, supposedly, unless we are doing a flashback. The Fallen Gods lightning against a lethal overdose. So this will be a Yorichi versus Asken battle, and I'm fine with that, because Yorichi's never really gotten her own personal 1v1 fight besides Soyphone, I'm pretty sure. So... The Falling Gods Lightning Against a Lethal Overdose. And I don't know, either way, this art is looking fantastic from Kubo as always. You know, people complain about Bleach, but the artwork is fantastic and her hair is on fire. So are we getting a fire Shunko or is that lightning? I don't even know. That's fucking sick. That's so sick. Like, Yuri, she just has like a smile. Like, she's just playful, but she's just going to go fuck up Askin right now. And she has huge old titties. And she's like, Shunko Ryzen Senke. Okay, so this was a flashback, essentially. But it gives us a better view of what actually happened. It cuts to the aftermath of it, basically. And that might actually be a thumbnail right there, basically. So we see the Warwell basically destroyed with the lightning just kind of, like, seeming over it. And then we see Orihime. She's getting basically netted by Yoroichi. And she saves her for now. It's probably best if you heal yourself once you regain your composure. And it's Tentichigo and Sato. Then the rest of you should go on ahead. Yeah, the rest of y'all losers for losing to a fucking stern right there. What about you, Yorichi-san? Don't worry. After I make sure he's good and dead, I'll be right behind you. Yorichi might die. I mean, we haven't been having a lot of deaths in these stern right battles. And this is the last one, so... She might die. And then I see a little face in the corner and <laughs> it's the it's uh Yoroichi's brother that looks like a girl and she's like and he's like six sis and Yoroichi's just like I don't care and she dodges like yeah I bet she doesn't really like him much and she's not the head of the clan anymore, he is, which is the funny part, and he's just a little bitch. I wonder if he has a Shunko. And then Yorichi's looking so fine from the back, like, seriously. And then he goes behind Yorichi without Yorichi even seeing. Wait, I'm trying to see what's going on right here. Yo, yeah, Yorichi, he goes behind Yorichi. He's like, gotcha. And then Yorichi backhead butts him. Oh my god, get fucked, like. Get fucked. <laughs> like, she's the real, you know, the head of the Shioin clan, I feel like. You know, well, she's definitely more powerful than her little brother. I'm here. What the hell did you tag along for Yusho? That's Yushiro. That's his name. And you were supposed to be with Kisuke, weren't you? Yeah, so Kisuke is still here, even though we haven't seen him since, like, before we went. But with so many captains running around there... I figured it would be fine if I came here. I thought I could come to rescue. So I raced over here without a second thought and leapt right into the fray. <laughs> Basically what Chad and I, uh, or Hime went and kind of Ichigo, and then Yorichi just has a derp face on, like, like, are you retarded? And then she's just like, oh, my rescue, you see. You rescue me? She's like, yup. Yushiro, in the short amount of time I've been away, looks like you've gotten a little stronger. And then Yushiro's actually crying, so I guess, I wonder if Yushiro has anything. Like, is he here to fight? Ask him to, that'd be cool. I'm so happy you noticed I've really become stronger. But he's crying, so he's like, he's a bitch. I mean, at least, like, o like, Oda's more guilty of this than Kubo, but, like, crying every fucking second. Oh, yeah, it's completely slipped my mind. He's so dense. The concept of sarcasm is completely lost on him. Thank you for no sis. Okay, okay. I hate to interrupt this poignant <laughs> family reunion. And then Yorichi just has a face on her. Poignant. Uh, clearly your ears aren't working very well just because some kid isn't crying. Is crying doesn't mean it's a conversation worth crying over. Is that so? In that case, enough is of this not so poignant 
family reunion. Eskin's looking fine as always, even though he's scruffed up a ton. He's just like doing back his hair, which it's interesting because that's what Eisen did. And his uh, and his fucking hair is just like Eisen. I want to know why Eskin looks like Eisen. Like honestly, like there probably is a link there because there is a link between um, the Shiba guy who uh, who Rukia killed. I can't remember his name for some reason, and Ichigo. There is a connection because Ichigo is part Shiba. So I'm wondering if there's something here. Who knows? And then Ichigo gets up. Hey, look, main character. Looks like you've recovered enough to stand already fast. As always, you probably overheard my conversation. Then go on ahead with all the others. I'll follow behind after. So Ichigo has mad regen yet now. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Got it. Watch your back, Yorichi. He's sweating. His face was just in the ground. Ichigo, Jesus Christ, how the fuck do you f think of defeating Yuha? Like, honestly, like, if you can't defeat Askin, you can't defeat Yuha. Like, that's just where I'm going with this, so, I don't know. D who do you think you're talking to? I've, it'll take a hell of a lot more than this to slow me down. Page 14, and then they run her off, they're getting away, His Majesty is going to give me an earful when I get back. Asking, relax. He won't even get an opportunity to scold you because we're gonna but put both of you and your watch out of your misery with that wonder dog attack you used earlier. Well, I can't have that now, can I? It's called Thunder God. Don't make fun of it. Uh, of sis, lest you want to incur my wrath. <laughs> Yushiro's kind of funny because like he doesn't get sarcasm. That's his like quirk. And so he's always, like, honest, I guess. And he's just, like, right here. Oh, it's called Thunder God. Uh, don't insult it. Oh, want to have a go, little missy? And he thinks he's a girl. That's funny. I'll warn you now, though. I won't hold back just because you're coming at me barefisted. I'll be using this bow, even though the Lashioian that you used that bow against just fucked you up with it. <laughs> like, why would you use the same bow that you just used against Yorichi that literally just deflected those bows and she's still up. Like, do you think Yorichi's just gonna lie? I'm a boy. And he's like, I, I'm a boy. Oh, really? Well, pardon me then. And he punches Askin in the face and Askin has blood. And he just has, like, a serious face on! That's fucking cool. That's fucking cool. And then Askin just explodes. Wait, this is insane. You can't be this fucking strong. Of course I can! Because he's a fucking Shioin! I am the 23rd odd of the house Shioin. Shioin Yushiro Sakimune. There's no way I could lose to the likes of a mere Quincy Shunko. <laughs> what the f- Oh my god. Bakken Muso. Unparalleled combustion. <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> like, Yushiro just fucked up Askin. <laughs> like, two, two chapters in a row, the Yushiros are just like, Shunko! So basically, with the Shunkos, this chapter it was confirmed that there are multiple different elements, like, you know, with Soi Phone, she has the Wind Shunko that we saw against her and Yoroichi, and furthermore, and then we saw Yoroichi, she just evolved her lightning to Raijin, you know, Kojin or whatever, you know, she had the drums, kind of like Anal, kind of represents the Thunder God, you know, really high quality shit. And then we have Yushiro, come out of nowhere, this guy who's just crying and being like a little bitch. And you know, I love Kubo for this because he gives him like a bitchy little like quirk, but then he comes in and kicks fucking ass, like with the Bakuin Musao, unparalleled com uh, composition, like unparalleled composition or uh, combustion i'm sorry Com not composition <laughs> we are in grammar school but you know um this was just a great chapter uh, and this fight is really just looking incredible but how the hell is asking gonna like do this i know he's an elite sterner but it's already like he was talking about how he doesn't have like a special ability i mean to our knowledge if i actually edited this video without the last two pages of this chapter so let's do this basically it's a little bit different of a perspective though because i wanted to do this quick but basically Askin's not dead yuri she's like geez wait to think before charging if if i hadn't gone to him first how do you even know that type of attack would have been effective against him so sorry sis having said that considering i taught you the shunko fairly recently i suppose it's commendable that you were able to develop in this far in this short of a time gee you just taught it to him and he's already mastered it to this extent okay so this is the most important part of the chapter kind of right here because 
you have someone third person talking to Yurichi in her head. I think that's going to tie in with the back, with the flashbacks that we're going to get with this. Because honestly, we're just going to get flashbacks with all these battles. That's how it's been with, you know, Pernida and, um, uh, uh, fucking Lil A, you know? That's how these battles go. Through combat, you get characterization. So I'm assuming that's going to be somebody that we're talking about with the Shihoin clan. Um, so just keep that in mind. Or that could have been Askin. I don't think that Askin would have said that. But either way, here's Askin. He's like a zombie right now. Come now. Don't look at me with those faces. I told you, didn't I? I can control the lethal doses of anything that I take in a massive amount of first. I truly do thank you for bringing upon me a near fatal amount of Riatsu. Now your Riatsus will no longer be able to kill me. Lethal dose miscalculated. So basically, Askin might be invincible right now, but. Alright, so this was my live reaction of the chapter. This was a very good chapter. I give it about 4.5 out, out of 5. You know, can't wait for the next part of this battle. Hopefully it might not last that long. You know, seven the, the seven chapters battles. Because, I'm you know, Gerard only lasted like two chapters. I'm wondering how long this is going to last. So, either way, thanks for watching, guys. Th thanks for sticking along. Uh, it just kind of find out found out that I'm not going to be going to college next semester. So, I'm going to be working on the channel a lot more. So... If you want to subscribe and seek, uh, you know, manga and anime content, even more because I think I want to post some video game stuff every here and now, I, I want to just subscribe, you know, because I'm going to be doing this thing. I'm having a lot of fun because my last video got 40,000 views. Like, that's never happened in that short of a period on my time on YouTube since, like, 2008, having multiple different channels. That is incredible, and I have to thank you all for that. And uh, that just kind of inspired me to do more. So, also, comment of the day. What do you guys think of Yushiro? Because Yushiro, she, I mean, like, you know, pussy. But then she's like, of course I can take out this Quincy scum with this one punch to the face. Exploded knock Levar. So, he's pretty hype now. He's good in my book. So, either way, answer the question of the day. And I will be talking to you guys later. Have a good day. How could this happen to me? There's a million different people Walking down a million different streets Wonder if your mom knew Second that the car rolled in your direction I wonder if your mom knew Should have told about a thousand bad decisions